معاذ سامعین اسلام نے ماں باپ کو جو عظیم مقام عطا کیا ہے اس کے نظیم ملنا مشکل ہے ماں باپ کی عظمت پر انگریزی میں مکالمہ پیش کرنے کے لیے اکرا کی طالبہ فاطمہ ملک اور نوری امان تشریف آتی ہیں Assalamu alaikum. I am Nuri Iman and I am going to favor my mother. Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all wonderful people. I am going to object my friend Nuri Iman and I am going to favor my father. My mother, my love. My father, my pride. Mother introduces you to the world. Father introduces the world to you. Mother keeps you alive. Father gives you living. Mother teaches you how to talk. Father teaches you how to walk the talk. Mother protect you from the fall. Father teaches you how to get up from a fall. Mother scared you in a womb for nine months. Father was taking care of your mother all those nine months. Mother made you to play with twice when you are crying. Father bought all those toys for you with his hard earned money. Mother stays half of the day in the kitchen to prepare delicious food for us. Father spent half of the day in earning to give us happy life. Mother comes to our rescue when father Father is calling. Father called us to inculcate manners and disciplines. Mother has heaven for us beneath her feet. Father is one of the gate to the heaven. It is the mother who awakes first when a child cries with pain at night. Mother can stay away from her own parents but cannot be separate from her children. Mother can bear painful things while giving birth to a child but cannot see a tear in the eyes of her children. If mother dies first, father marries another woman. And if father dies first, mother remains with them and live all her life remembering her husband. Would you hold for a moment please? Yes, you may. Every effort that our father is making is for our betterment. Every sweat he is perspiring is for our comfort. Every painting he is for earning is for our career and future. I am not able to understand how I should convince you. Every word that is spoken about your father has an other reality in them. I cannot deny and I never deny your statement. I understand your emotions and I do respect my father. I do love my father but I can convince you the greatest of mother over the father in the light of Islam. Once a man came to the Prophet Muhammad wasallam and asked, Ya Rasulullah, who among the people deserve maximum respect? I mean, in terms of love and attachment. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Your mother. That man asked, Then who? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Your mother. That man asked again, Then who? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Your, your mother. That man asked again, Then who? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, then your father. My dear friend, what I have mentioned to you is an authentic hadith taken from Bukhari Sharif. I let me tell you. Would you hold for a moment please? I give up. I stop my debate here. I cannot utter a single word any further. As you mentioned a hadith from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I convince wholeheartedly with the importance of mother over father is three times greater. And I thank you for convincing me. Now I declare that you have won the debate. Well, my dear friend, it is not the matter of defeat or victory. In fact, I would say the one who admit the fact, the one who admit the truth is wise person. You capture your emotion in a sight and have given up. You have shown the respect you have for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I am sure in the eyes of Allah, you are the victorious person today. May I have the honor of hugging with the victorious person? Thank you. Thank you.